Lego Aqua Raiders is an underwater unlicensed theme that came out in 2007 that also shares a name with an AquaZone sub-theme. And in this video, I'm going to rank every Lego Aqua Raiders set. Number 7 is Deep Sea Treasure Hunter, the smallest set in the theme, but not a bad one. It comes with one minifigure, a diver, and most of the figures in this theme are just regular divers, so there's not much variation there, but they are still fine figures. The main build is a diving vehicle, and I actually really like it. It's a nice build for a vehicle this small with some claws in the front, and it also comes with a treasure chest and a little terrain build. Number 6 is Angler Ambush, and it comes with two diver minifigures. The first build is another diving vehicle, which doesn't look as good as the last one, but it's still nice. The main build is the Anglerfish, which is cool, but doesn't look the best. It has a big, openable jaw, movable fins, and of course, the light in the front. But I prefer the Angler build from Atlantis a lot more, and there's better creature builds in the theme. It also comes with the terrain side build with a feature to pop off the top to reveal treasure. Number 5 is Tiger Shark Attack, and it comes with two diver minifigures. The first build is a good small sub vehicle, and I really like the design and shape of this one with a nice rubber tipped missile in the front. Then there's the shark build, which is fine, but again it's not one of my favorite creature designs for the theme, being more plain and basic than some others. But it has some nice movement for the head and tail. It also comes with two small side builds. One is a harpoon gun, and the other is a terrain build with a bowl of treasure. Number four is Aqua Base Invasion, the biggest set in the theme, but not my favorite. It comes with five minifigures, four divers, and a skeleton. The Aqua Base is a decent build, but not one I care too much for. In the front on the top, there is a rubber tipped missile that can spin around and a big window below that. The interior is pretty nice with a crane that can rotate and a small diving vehicle that can be dropped out through the tunnel at the front. On the left, there is a landing pad for an alright submarine that has space for some treasure. And it also comes with a pretty cool giant squid build that has the skeleton inside of it. Number 3 is Lobster Strike, and it comes with two diver minifigures. The first build is the Underwater Exploration Rover, and I don't like this build that much. Even though it is more unique for the theme. It's a treaded vehicle with two arms. One has a hand to grab stuff, and the other has a saw. The other build is a giant lobster which I really like, and it's my favorite creature in the theme. I like the red and black color scheme and the two big claws that make it look really awesome. It also has some movement for the claws, legs, and tail. Number 2 is the Shipwreck. It comes with three minifigures, two divers, and a skeleton. The main build is a submarine which is good but not my favorite. It has two arms in the front, one to grab stuff and the other has a magnetic piece to pick up safes, which is really interesting and not something I've ever really seen before in a LEGO set. It can also open up, has a harpoon gun at the top that can spin, and comes with a small diving vehicle. The second build is a shipwreck, and I really like the look of shipwreck builds in LEGO. This one is nice, but doesn't have too much to it with a mass that can fall down, and it comes with a bunch of treasure. And number one is the Crab Crusher. It comes with three minifigures, two divers, and a skeleton. The main build is another submarine, which is another great vehicle in the theme, and probably my favorite. It's a little different than the style of submarine we usually see for LEGO being a longer design, and I really like that. It has a rubber tip missile in the front, a pretty good interior, especially in the middle, with some spaces for storage, and the front part can split off. It also comes with some smaller diving vehicles, one being a drone. The second build is the giant crab with movable legs and claws, and I don't like it as much as the lobster, but I still think it's cool. Then there's also a small terrain build with some treasure. So that was my ranking of every LEGO Aqua Raiders set. It's a good short-lived underwater theme with great vehicle and creature builds, but Atlantis is still my favorite underwater theme. Both are great though, and it would be nice to see another unlicensed underwater theme similar to either of them. But anyway, that's all I have to say. See you next time. Goodbye.